born with cystic fibrosis and it's a progressive disease so I've been in and out of the hospital my entire life. And as I grew older my lungs grew worse and worse until, uh, until it got to the point where my doctor said you either get a transplant now or you're not going to make it much longer. First it's all I could think about, like a football practice. Sometimes I would ask to go to the bathroom in the field house and I'd go inside and I'd think about my sister for a while. It became critical that she needed the set of lungs. Uh, she had been in a coma for about two and a half months. Okay. Alright you guys, this is where you have to leave you, okay? Well, the day before Christmas, uh, a 19 year old girl passed away somewhere in the States and she became my hero and immediately I began praying for their family and I think about my donor every day. So she's breathing on her own right now? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yay. How do your lungs, how do lungs feel? Her family is struggling and I feel so grateful for their decision. And more than that, I feel like I'm connected to my donor. I feel like she's my friend. I feel like I want to do everything that she wanted to do. And she's always with me and I'll always remember her as my guardian angel who saved my life. I am so extremely grateful to our donor family. Their last gift of their daughter so that my daughter could live on. Their ultimate gift is something I can never thank them enough. I am extremely grateful for their decision. How does it feel to breathe that deep? Oh my God! A dream, huh? There's no one here. <laughs> so much here. Yeah. I don't know what to do with so much here. I feel like a whole new woman. Like I don't have to use an oxygen tank everywhere I go. I don't have to be out of breath. I can take a deep breath and feel the oxygen fill my lungs. Even the bottom part, most bottom part of my lungs, I can breathe and I can. I can be a normal human being and that's something that I I never thought was possible. Never even enters into your thought pattern that something bad is going to happen. And when it does, the last thing that comes into your mind is to think about helping somebody else. She lost her life and the doctors had the doctors couldn't do anything about it obviously but she and her family could do something about her life and she gave me the ultimate gift my sister is still breathing to this day because of people like you through me she lives on and I continue to spread our love and I continue to live for the both of us. Without your efforts, your continuous education, your continuous fight for people to see what you do, what you bring, our family, our daughter would not be here. Thank you for joining a cause that will save lives and help give the gift of life. Please continue to spread awareness. Please continue to educate 
please continue to advocate for our families that will need one day organ donation. Thank you, Unite, Unite for, for Life. life.